Hey guys, and welcome back to Mondays with me, Dr. Crystal. So this video was inspired by my dear friend Mary, who posted this lovely post on Facebook yesterday. If you have time, pause, read that post, it was really funny. So her post really got me thinking of all the questions I'm asked all the time by my family and friends. And I made a video a while back answering some of those questions, but it's been a long time, and so it's time to do it again. I also think this is a good way to keep my family and friends in check because they can feel free to ask me questions, but you might end up in my YouTube video. So if you guys are watching, don't worry, I won't say your name. So to find these, I searched question in my phone and these are the first few I found. So here we go. Incredibly embarrassing question. I thought I had a yeast infection, but the itchiness is just in my ass. I used Monistat, but it didn't help. If it's just hemorrhoids, is there a cure? <laughs> Oh man, um, th th these are the things people ask me. These are the things you guys are wondering. I mean, it's a fair question. So surprisingly, there are a plethora of things that can make your butt itch. Bad hygiene, hemorrhoids, worms. <gasps> oh, okay, I just looked back at what I told her because I didn't remember what my recommendation was. So usually my first thought is always to tell somebody, go to your doctor, have them take a look because I don't know what it is. I don't know why your butt is itching. But I told her to look in the mirror and see if she saw any hemorrhoids. And I told her she could try some Preparation H, which is over the counter. A lot of people are embarrassed to have appointments for things like this, but honestly, we see it all the time. You will not be judged and you are not alone. Promise. Do left-handed people just learn how to suture right-handed? You know who you are. This is actually an interesting question. It depends. Can I suture left-handed? Yes, but not well. For me, most of my suturing is in clinic or on the sideline, and so I have the ability to get somebody in the position I need to so that I can use my right hand and make it look as good as possible. Surgeons, they really have to learn to work with both hands because when you're in a small space, suturing something inside someone's body, sometimes you have to use your left hand. So yes, oftentimes right-handed people learn to suture with their left hand, and left-handed people learn to suture with their right hand. Who doesn't think all people have hair on the whole? Do they? As you can see, I get lots of questions about butts. So this is my friend's fiance who's asking this question. I don't know, I mean, I've seen a lot of them. Most people have hair. There's always the people who have less hair than other people. And so I can't give like a broad, every single person has hair around it, but a vast majority. I don't know why you were worried about that, but I can assure you that it's normal to have hair there. Think I can stop taking aspirin every day? I have insane bruises everywhere. This one was actually accompanied by a picture of a big bruise. So this is a friend who had surgery and her surgeon put her on aspirin after the surgery. I will never give you different recommendations than your doctor who actually saw you in person. And also this guy did her surgery and so I was not about to tell her to, yeah, go ahead, stop the aspirin. So basically I told her with how far out she was, I thought it would probably be fine, but I wouldn't stop it without talking to her surgeon. Hey doc, sorry to bother you. Just wanted your opinion. Would you drain this or leave it be? Smash the hell out of my hand yesterday. This one was also accompanied by a picture. He had a subungal hematoma, which means he had bleeding under the nail. So this can be super painful and you can start getting a lot of pressure under there if the blood starts to build up. So oftentimes we will drain them by poking a little hole in the nail or sometimes burning a hole. And so he was asking whether in his situation I would drain it. So basically I told him if he was in the clinic and it was throbbing and really hurting him, yes, I would probably try to drain it. I always get an x-ray first if someone smashed their finger because there could be a fracture under there that you don't wanna miss. But apparently he was asking because he wanted to drain it himself and he did. Though I did recommend against it. So you guys are not gonna believe this, but while filming this video, I got another one. My friend asks, Crystal, do you think the itching in my throat is early Rona? No, no, I don't. You know, it is kind of crazy because there are so many symptoms that are now being associated with COVID-19. And so everyone's just a little bit worried that any little thing could be it, and it could, and you can have it without having any symptoms. So for her, I'm gonna get a little bit more information, probably ask her about allergies. It is allergy season right now for a lot of people. I know mine are starting to flare up, so. Um, I, I hope it's not. <laughs> all right, that's all I have for you. To my friends, I'm sorry for calling you out, but hey, thank you for the great questions. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. But, uh, mm, there's a fuzz in the air. <laughs>